When you finally try Bud Light Seltzer, your taste buds will thank you. In their own special taste bud way. Welcome to a special summer season of Texas Monthly Soundcheck, brought to you by our friends at Bud Light Seltzer. For the next few weeks, we'll be highlighting some of our favorite musicians from across the state. And because quarantine, because a pandemic, they'll be featured in their own backyards because it's summer. And Sarah Jarose was gracious enough to volunteer to go first. Sarah, thank you and welcome. Uh, Little background, Sarah DeRose, a three-time Grammy winner, uh, toured last year with her group, I'm With Her, and then just a couple of months ago, released a brand new record called World on the Ground. Sarah, you're coming to us from Nashville because you escaped New York? Yeah, exactly. Um, I've, I've been here in Nashville since the beginning of March. I was in New York kind of when things started getting crazy and thankfully had another place to go. Um, so I've, yeah, I've been down here in Nashville and making a lot of use of this backyard <laughs> that I'm coming to you from right now. So it's the first time that I've done one of these videos back here though. So it's, it's really nice. I, I feel like the bugs and the birds are chiming in. All right. Well, a lot of this record, which we're going to talk about in a moment, is about Texas and specifically about where you grew up, Wimberley. But let's hear a song first, and then you and I will talk a little bit about that record. Yeah, yeah. I'll, um, I'll start with a song called Johnny, which um, was actually one of the first songs that I wrote for this record. And I'll play it for you now. Back in 
Sarah Jarose on Texas Monthly's Summer Soundcheck series, brought to you by our friends at Bud Light Seltzer. So, Sarah, to date both of ourselves, we've known each other since you were a teenager, and I always assumed that you were just the product of great parenting, uh, the way you carry yourself, your creativity, et cetera. But Wimberley itself left an imprint on you. How much of that town do you carry with you day to day? Um, so much. It's, uh, it, it's, you know, I think a lot of this record, it, it was me sort of realizing that it took this time away from home, living in the Northeast, living in Boston and New York, that space away from being in Wimberley to, to realize how special it is and to realize how special the, the people there are. And, um, you know, I think that um, something I've been thinking a lot about recently is the Wimberley Bluegrass Jam and, and the folks there and how, I don't know, I started going to that when I was literally nine years old. Um, and they never treated me like a little kid. They just treated me like I was one of them. I was one of the, the crew. And I always appreciated that so much. And I think that's why I fell in love with the music so much because I didn't I didn't actually feel singled out. I just felt like I got to go share those songs with those people every week. And it was it was the best. It was so welcoming and um, the community aspect of that and how it related to the music, um, I think was in, unique to be able to stumble upon that. And um, I'm, I'm grateful to, to Wimberley for sort of cultivating that spirit. The last time we ran into each other pre-pandemic, you were telling me about Life on the Road with I'm With Her. Uh, it's something of a super group. There's three of you. Uh, the other two women in the band both recently had children. You were on a tour bus full of children. And I'm guessing that because touring isn't an option right now, uh, despite those sleepless nights, you probably missed that more than you knew? Yes, 100%. Um... That was, I, I actually was laughing about this um, Phoebe Bridgers quote that she said, she, she tweeted recently, the only thing I hate more than touring is not touring. <laughs> and um, touring is not always the easiest thing in the world, but um, not being able to do it in this moment, I'm, you know, I think me and so many of my musician, all, the whole community of, of musicians is missing it so much. And even all the parts that can sometimes be difficult, um, it, it, it makes up the whole the whole livelihood and, and the whole experience of it. So, yeah, even even the sleepless nights um, and the airports and, you know, being away from home, um, I'm sort of missing all of it right now. It's it's very especially with with a new record out. It's it's pretty surreal to not not sort of put this out into the world and then get to go play these songs for people. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just glad that I could put this record out at all and that people still can hear these songs in some way. All of that touring, all of the airports, all of the sleepless nights, that's about ultimately being in front of audiences. You obviously miss audiences, but is there another aspect of this whole music thing that maybe you didn't realize you loved as much or were as attached to until it was taken away from you? I think what it's made me realize that I miss a lot is you know, playing music with other people. I, I was so excited to, um, you know, work up these songs with a new band and, and go out on the road and be playing with, with different musicians and, and just that, that spirit of collaboration that can really only happen when you're in the same room with people, especially, geez, when it comes to singing harmony. You know, you mentioned Sarah and Aoife. It's like I miss the vibrations that you feel, you know, f physically when, when you're in the room making music with people. Um, and so I think, you know, I'm, I'm just never going to take it for granted again. It's, it's just that the ability to be in a room with other musicians collaborating and creating, it's, it's very, very special. <laughs> well, one day with luck, you get to do it again and we get to see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could I ask for one more song? Of course, yeah. Well, um, I will do a song also from the record, this one called Hometown.
on the verge of a breakdown back in her hometown never thought she'd settle down in a place like this cold coffee on the back porch wooden chair rocking back and forth now she wonders how it all went down back in her most people never left Found a job and filled in the rest Never got around to leaving the nest Holding on to not let go But that path just wasn't for her She got out faster than the fireworks Never took time to slow it down Now she's back in her own town Looking out at the cedars and the oaks Sings beneath the sky of blue All the thoughts that let her out On that road without a doubt Somewhere they fizzled out Now she's back in her own town traveled and people you meet or is it just the silence of the times in between her mind's racing as she sits alone in the place that she used to call home memories are all around back in her own town looking out at the light above the hill sky of blue All the thoughts that let her out On that road without a doubt Somewhere they fizzled out Now she's back in her own town Somewhere they fizzled out Sarah Jaros on Texas Monthly's Soundcheck series, which has been brought to you by our friends at Bud Light Seltzer. Sarah's new record, World on the Ground, is available wherever it is you stream or preferably buy music. And uh, again, thank you, Sarah Jaros. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. All right, we appreciate it and hope to see you back in Texas when it's safe to do so. Uh, we will safely deliver to you in just another couple days another edition of our Soundcheck series. Our next one will feature Charlie Crockett. Uh, come right back here for that. And again, our thanks to Bud Light Seltzer. Thanks to Sarah Jarose. And we'll be back next time with Charlie Crockett on Texas Monthly's Soundcheck series. <laughs> that fell out of my ear at exactly the right moment. <laughs>